know, the ones that can't control their flirting, all right? For whatever reason at all, you got a friend that, even if they're not attracted to, to the other person, for whatever reason, feel the need to flirt with them. Right? Yeah. You've they, never met somebody like this? Oh, I have lots of friends like that. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. My friends are flirty, flirty, flirty girls, <laughs> and they just live for the validation, understandably. So on Friday, we had to text a sister that was like this because she was just creating tension in the family. Yeah, so our Berkshire listener hit us up, needed our help with texting tutor because she needed to text her sister about backing off and not being overly flirtatious with her new boyfriend. She's bringing the new man around the fam, and she was concerned about her, as she stated, more attractive sister flirting with him and potentially stealing him away. Of course, that was like an extreme situation, but she was very worried about her sister's overtly flirtatious ways. So instead of telling sister to dial it back, we went the um, reverse psychology route. And as like a way to test him, we asked her if she would turn the flirt on like she always does and see if he takes the bait. And she got very defensive. Oh, I don't do that. Yes. How dare you attack my character like this? She was uh, pretty much incredulous to the fact that she was one of those, as you say, Abby, flirty, flirty, flirty girls. <laughs> um, and she really like took it to heart and felt it was a massive insult to be labeled as a flirt. So we just said, OK, let's scrap the whole thing. I'm like we we backpedaled and we apologized and said we meant no insult. I actually thought we were complimenting her and everything, I think, ended with like either just an okay or a thumbs up um and but the the seed had been planted so we did our job in the hopes that she would be aware and so therefore would not have been overtly and excessively flirting with her sister's new boyfriend should be sensitive to it when everybody's around yes okay exactly. so in the reality how did it go over the weekend first of all thank you for all the advice you guys gave me with texting my sister as for this weekend, my boyfriend did meet my family for dinner on Saturday night. However, there was one notable absence. My sister. Ooh. She was supposed to be there, so when she didn't show, my mom called her. All she really said was that she wasn't feeling up to it. My mom just assumed that she was feeling under the weather, and I didn't say anything, but I knew she was intentionally mm -hmm. trying to prove a point. Mm -hmm. Later that night, I called her. She admitted that she felt fine, but didn't feel like seeing me or meeting him. I apologized again and tried to explain to her that I never intended to hurt her. She seemed to accept my apology, so I told her I really wanted her to meet him. She agreed to go to lunch with us the next day. That didn't go well either. From the moment she showed up, she was extremely standoffish. She didn't seem shy, but flat out rude. My boyfriend was trying so hard to engage her in conversation, and I was annoyed. I didn't want her to flirt, but I also didn't want her to be an outright bitch. <laughs> Once again, it seemed like she was trying to prove a point. I didn't call her on it. I didn't feel like dealing with drama. I just ended lunch as soon as possible. So for now, I've decided to take a step back and give my sister some space. A lot of space. I plan to avoid her as much as possible, especially if my boyfriend is with me. Maybe in a couple of months, I can re uh, revisit the idea of introducing them, and hopefully it'll go better then. So your sister's kind of an immature punk, or is being one anyway, right now. I, I think this is the best case scenario, actually. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I don't really see how she could have went about it. I, I, I guess I, I do somewhat understand her sister feeling away uh, with the way that she kind of, I guess, feels attacked, but... I mean, if this is the way she's going to handle it, I do think that staying away from her for right now is probably the best thing you can do. I don't think she's necessarily being immature with the rudeness. I mean, I don't think it's mature, but I can imagine like if she's thinking, oh, my sister thinks I'm going to be flirting with her boyfriend and making her uncomfortable. Maybe she's like swinging the pendulum the other way. And mm -hmm. it's almost like a defense me mechanism where she's like, well, if I'm kind of rude, if I'm flat, if I'm not super like enjoyable to be around, they can't accuse me of being flirty. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, and I'm, I think Abby and I are on the same page because some people confuse kindness with flirtatiousness mm -hmm. and sometimes you're just trying to be nice. Mm. Like nice to some people equals flirt and that's just not the case. Sometimes you're just being a nice person and um, I think in this instance she feels like she can't win. Mm. So I, I, I kind of don't blame the sister for acting the way she does because she doesn't want to be accused of flirting. I guess I see where you guys are coming yeah. from here. Yeah. So should our listener then text, like, sister, 
just to see if that was what she was feeling no, or I, just let it kind of go right now? I think this needs a little time and a little space to simmer down. This is a sister power move. She's doing it on purpose. She is being a total B word. And I think you give her space and you don't contact her and you wait till she comes to you. I, I don't think you be mean to her. I don't think you intentionally exclude her from stuff at all. Mm. Like always invite her, still be nice, but no showing dinner and not telling anyone, including mom, you're not coming. Bratty move, right? Agreeing to go to lunch. But then I, I agree. Like some people do see kindness as flirting. I'm mm. totally on board with you guys on that. But the outright rude, like, you know, your sister and you know your siblings and you know when they're being even keeled and you know when they're acting out and for a sister to be like she was flat out rude mm -hmm. it, that's different from being like apathetic or nonchalant I think the sister's playing games so at this point you say just let her be let She'll her come be around still include her love her all that stuff but don't go out of your way to make touch points it's a bird show the Burt Show. Like what you just watched? Well, you can get way more of The Burt Show on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. 